It's your girl Colors and I'm back with another video and today's video is gonna be all about baby girl Noelle's one month video I know it's pretty crazy to think that she's already one month and it's probably kind of confusing to you guys because you like how in the world she's already one month old understand these videos are pre-recorded I didn't start putting out these videos of her labor and delivery until she was already two weeks I'm just getting to the swing of things and I'm putting out these videos if you have not noticed so please make sure you like these videos and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I really do appreciate you guys stopping in if you want to get to know baby girl Noelle a lot more just keep on watching so I do want to give you guys an update and I'm just going to start in no particular order because I just feel all the way around y'all yeah, really just don't really know much about baby girl. So I'm going to just start from the beginning and just kind of go up and whatever comes on my mind let's just do it girl because you know I already don't got them all. Pregnancy brain is still a real thing but I did write down some things so started from the beginning so baby girl was uh born on february 21st 2020 she is on her way well into a month and a half she was born at six pounds 13 ounces and now currently to this day she is actually nine pounds four ounces which i was told was at the 38 percentile which is really good where they want to see her at which i was actually surprised because i actually think that she eats a lot but we'll get into that later she was born at 18 and a half inches to this day she is 21 and a half inches so what is that two and a half inches three inches you know what i'm saying so she is growing so one of the things that i was kind of surprised that happened a lot earlier with her was that she gained clogged tear ducts very early and I think she probably started getting around two weeks old I was kind of like I forgot all about this being a thing if you are a new mom clogged tear ducts is when their eyes start getting this little like pus and it starts sealing their eyes shut sometimes they have it in both eyes or they have it in one eye she had it in her right eye so as soon as I seen it it looked familiar to me I did not consult a doctor because I already knew what it was so basically what you want to do when your child has a clogged tear duct is you just really wipe it with a clear clean cloth and you do that multiple times a day also you want to take the clean cloth and start massaging near the tear duct and go down the nostril but you usually want to do it with your pinky i'm not really that coordinated so i just wrap it around my index finger and just be real gentle and massage right into the tear duct and down her nose so i did that probably not as much as i should have but i probably was doing it like as much as i've seen it plus maybe like once or twice throughout the night because I didn't want to wake her up too much and plus usually in the middle of the night they gain a lot of pus in the eye so I just kind of leave it I clean it once it get bad but I leave it mainly for the morning so she got a clogged tear duct and that cleared away I think pretty fast honestly I would say within a week after she got over that she gained a uh, baby acne which she's still kind of battling right now but it's starting to subside I don't think we was that dedicated in putting the aquaphor on her because it can clog their pores in their face I put it on like maybe once once or twice a day I would say really one time to be honest with you so we just kind of let it play out it's going away if you can kind of see she's sleeping so I don't want to disturb her too much see your little face she getting a little chunky it's clearing up a lot when it comes to feeding she is drinking ready to feed and that is like the milk liquid ready version of formula I do not breastfeed her she has never been breastfed I 
kind of had moments of feeling a little sad about that but when I think about the work it takes to do it I'm like I, I can't because having a one-year-old and a one-month-old that's a lot you know I commend anybody who can do it especially their single mom and doing it with multiple kids child more power to you but my one-year-old still needs a lot of attention I'm still in a stage where you just gotta watch everything she's putting in her mouth and I just don't have the time to sit still and pump and then make sure she's not grabbing stuff and make sure I'm handling um, Noel at the same time. So we really prefer to give her uh, the gentle ease version because that's what she likes the best. We have tried the Similac Pro Advance, which is supposed to be very similar to breast milk. Um, she's okay with that one. She didn't like it at first though. Um, I think we just kind of like started to push it on her a little bit and then she kind of got past it. In our history, we have did uh, ready to feed up until the baby's is a couple of months old. Uh, I think we'll end up transitioning her a lot earlier than we did Nala. But uh, I tried to do the powder version of Gentle Ease a couple days ago and she got really constipated. So I went back to the milk. What else? Ooh, don't mess up a lace, child. Don't mess up a lace. One thing that we're dealing with right now is constipation. We still haven't really got a grip of it. I always use the little remedies, gas drops, because those seem to work the fastest. I'm not saying it works the best, but it works the fastest. Usually they get their poops out within like, I would say like a day. Um, they say it's used a couple minutes sometimes, but not all the time. We're dealing with it the best way you can, but babies who typically drink formula are constipated more than babies who breastfeed. But I would just always suggest in the beginning give them the probiotics by Infamil and at the same time give them um, some gas medicine maybe about two times a day even if they're not constipated. I be feeling so bad when I see my baby girl cries because she don't really know how to push or it hurts. So, Hopefully soon we'll get over this constipation stage and she'll get used to the formula and whatnot. So baby girl, as far as eating, while we're talking about that, she eat about, I would say less than two ounces at a time, but I feel like she's always eating. Like she eats like every hour I feel. But I think a part of that is due to like the constipation cause it's soothing when she tries to poop. So it's just kind of like a uh, back and forth. I thought she was gaining too much weight because she started to get so big so fast. But doctor said she's perfect. So whatever I'm doing is working. As far as naps, she uh, doesn't really take many naps. So she does only wake up about three times in the middle of the night, um, which is really good because I swear I was always getting up with Nala, but she won't really take a good nap until around 12. And then she'll take like a two hour nap, maybe twice a day. After that, it'll just be kind of a lot of tiny naps, like 20 minutes, 30 minutes here until we go to bed at night. So this is actually kind of surprising because it's 10 48 at night and she's sleep and knocked out and this is not normal trust and believe is not normal but i guess we'll take it the next thing is that she currently wears newborn size clothes and she wears technically newborn size diapers but i do got her in size one because i ain't got time to keep running back and forth to buy size newborn when i have plenty of size ones but you know how people always say it's like you're not gonna be in newborns for a while she's going on a month and a half so she's still technically she still can fit newborn sizes and i still fold the size ones they were folding size ones in the hospital for her and then i literally had to go buy newborns when i got out of the hospital and i went through a case and a half of newborn then i was like i'm not buying no more after that the next thing is as far as her nighttime sleep the only thing that seems to work for her is we do have a halo bassinet that we have in our room so we put the snuggle organics in there um i have tried many things and that seems like the only thing that works as far as to get her to stay asleep i know disclaimer that you're not supposed to put anything in the bassinet but y'all do y'all y'all do what works i keep a heavy eye on her but she loves plush covers so that's why you see that i have this 
over her because that usually does help her to sleep or take her naps or just to get comfortable. I noticed that when she doesn't have nothing on her legs, she throws up her feet a lot, which wakes her up. One thing I was really surprised about with her is that she can stay awake at long periods of time. She can stay up like a good 45 minutes at a time. And I was just kind of like, that is really weird. She has really good uh, like coordination, like looking, staring at people. Although at moments she still gets cross-sided, so I don't know. Also, another thing that's been going on with her is that she has really good head control. Uh, we do not do tummy time. I just like to wait for a moment that I feel like, okay, it's time to start doing it, which is now. I do wanna start doing um, tummy time with her because she does have pretty good head control. I just haven't yet because it's really hard because of Nala. I can't really do tummy time until at least I get some good baby gates, but I can't lock my baby out. I need her to be close too, so it's just a whole lot. But I have to figure something out because I don't want to delay her, but I also don't want to rush her. So I don't know when that time comes, I would definitely let you guys know. Also, she loves pacifiers. Well, I, I think love is a strong word. She really likes pacifiers. Pacifiers help soothe her. She just needs it to fall asleep, which is the reason why I think she likes bottles a lot. Pacifiers that she likes is the silicone type. These ones right here. I'm really surprised because, you know, I really didn't want to give my babies pacifiers. I don't want them to get used to it, but I'd rather her suck on a pacifier than to eat all the time to get that same soothing feeling. I just kind of realized there's really no rhyme or reason. Every baby can be different, which I knew before, but it's like, you, you, there's only so much control that you can have. Just stay on top of it, and whenever you decide that to let it go, just kind of rip the bandaid off, I guess. Another thing that I have noticed is that kind of a bad habit that she has and I'm just like I don't know why she does this. She loves to pee when you are changing her. It feels like she waits on it. Like it's something about the cool air that touches her and she just kind of like let it rip. You know she already peed on the couch like two times. She already peed on the changing cover. You know you think we learn to just put in a huh? Peed on the bed. Peed on the bed. Day. Two of those times. Yeah, you said I told you about that. Babe, I don't recall her peeing on the bed. It was on top of the cover when I was sleeping. Child, we gotta do better. I almost got peed on one time. Yeah, that's kind of bad habit. Hopefully she stopped doing that because once she get older, it's gonna get real strong. It's gonna be a problem. Yeah, you guys, it is getting late. I think that's really all that's going on. I mean, she's still a little baby. There's not a lot that she really does, but I did wanna come here and have a dedicated video about every, all things about her. So yeah, I guess that's really it. If there's something I could have missed at this uh, part of her life, just ask the question down below in the comment section. And yeah, I think we're just gonna go ahead and get out of here. I definitely love you guys. Make sure you turn on your post notifications, like and share this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye.